Yeah. Uh, that's it. She's right there, Stan. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was going to talk about that. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a... Uh, if you... Yeah, generally actors kind of say, oh, can I have one more? They're always thinking, like, oh, I need another one afterwards. Uh, you know, when, when you know, David's saying, yeah, I've got it, it's done. It's one of the greatest pieces of direction when, <laughs> um, when you ask for one more and he's saying, like, do you think you can do better? <laughs> I've never experienced another director asking that. And you're like, I don't know. Well, I mean, I guess that's what you ask. <laughs> and then so the question after that is like, well, are you questioning my judgment of the scene? <laughs> if you can possibly do another take after that, then you will do a better take. <laughs> like, like, has that happened? That has nothing to do with the question, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can bring it back. I can bring it back. I'll bring it back. Um, David does do an extensive block before you start shooting the scene. So you arrive on set and you work out, you run through the scene. It's basically like a mini rehearsal um, before the crew comes into light and before the crew watches the scene to figure out the lighting. So you do, it's not as if the cameras are hoisted. And you walk onto set and you just start rolling it. There, there is, there's a lot of thought behind it, even though there's no extensive rehearsal. Yeah, and it's actually, it's actually <laughs> it's better than rehearsing in a, in, in a way. I mean, the way Paul obviously rehearses has done terrible damage to his work. <laughs> <laughs> because it, it's not, you know, the, normally you sit around a table and you. I think that's how it works. It's like in theater, you sit around the table and you read the script to each other and you discuss it and you analyze each other's... I think that's how it works. I've only done it once. And I found it to be totally counterproductive because when we went on the set, everything changed. That goes away. The dynamism, you know, you were in your costumes, you're on location, you're with all the actors, which you rarely have all together, by the way. In this movie, we, could, we really couldn't have rehearsed a lot. Because the actors, I mean, literally, uh, Juliette Binoche flew in for two days, did her scenes and left. Mathieu Almerich was there for one day. So there really was no chance to rehearse. But uh, anyway, I, I, I find that just when you're blocking it, you're asking the actor to be involved in the choreography of the scene, the way it moves, the shape of it. And it, it's at that moment you're there with the actors right on your reel where you're going to shoot it. And that is enough rehearsal for me. And I and and you get enough, but it's not gonna. You still don't spoil the spontaneity of it. You can still surprise each other. Uh, maybe somebody could tell me that you know there are other ways of working, Paul. You know, the... man. I yeah. I, um, no, I agree with everything you just said. <laughs> no, you're right. It's it's true. It's a funny, weird line because I, I I've done it where we have rehearsed a lot, and it can oftentimes really kill it. And I think with something like this, it could have really killed it badly. Because this language needed to stay lively, you know. Hi, I'm Elizabeth from Toronto.